very good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, I, li I would like to thank A AIOS for giving me this opportunity. Um, uh, today, my topic of presentation is an interesting case of bifid insertion of inferior oblique muscle in a case of superior oblique palsy. Uh, uh, congenital anomalies of insertion of recti muscles are known feature. A bifid head uh, has been found in SR and IR. Uh, congenital anomalies of inferior oblique has been found and reported in cadaveric subjects, but bifid head of inferior oblique has, been, uh, has not been reported till now. Um, our case is she is a nine-year-old girl presented in our OPD with squint and anomalous head posture for six months. There was no history of trauma. Visual acuity is uh, 6 by 6 and 6 by 12. BCVA, uh, her right eye was plano and left eye with one diopter cylinder at 180 degrees. She was improving to 6, 9. Her head posture got right head tilt with a right-sided facial hypoplasia. Pupil was NSRL and anterior segment findings were within normal limits. This is the photograph of the girl. On squint evaluation, word for, uh, on word for dot test, left eye suppression was there, uh, stereo acuity was absent. Motor evaluation, she had full phi uh, ductions and virgins. Left eye got hypertropia on primary position. Uh, her left hypertropia uh, was increased to 45, uh, 40 prism adapter and decreased to uh, 50 was increased to 40 prism adapter on right gaze and uh, decreasing to 15 prism adapter on left gaze. Uh, this, uh, this left uh, hypertopia was decreased to 15 prism adapter on right head tilt and increased to 45 prism adapter on left head tilt. Her ocular movement showed over elevation in adduction position of grade 4 in the left eye. So a diagnosis of congenital left eye superior oblique palsy with inferior oblique overaction grade 4 was made. This is our uh, this is a photograph showing nine gazes, showing normal ocular motility. Uh, the, during the surgical, so a surgical plan of left eye inferior oblique uh, anterior transposition under GA was made. During the surgery, this is the oblique, uh, inferior oblique we held, and this is the bifid head. This is the bifid head we found. Uh, we disinserted the muscle and we did, we sutured both the uh, heads together. This is the first head and this is the second head. This one is the second head and we inserted both of them together. And we placed it uh, lateral, temporal to the inferior rectus muscle. Postoperatively, she was orthotropic, head tilt was markedly corrected. Uh, so at a conclusion, I would like to say, while doing inferior oblique surgery, we should always look for another head. A lost head can be a cause of undercorrection. These are my references. Thank you.